Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2 Brood War on the Mysterious JG. It's not Brood War, it's um, part of the swarm. You just missed a hilarious bit of dialogue uh, because I kind of like alt-cabbed out of this application and was doing some other stuff and then I switched my laundry out of the washer into the dryer and blah blah blah. I came back and Isha was saying, I have heard that the Overmind was a very active leader. You should try it. So hilarious making fun of you for not constantly doing stuff dialogue and you missed it I'm sorry you have become strong and taken another world I think you will conquer the universe the universe has like six planets right but the Zerg will never again be pawns of other races not even the Zelda. when are we the pawns of you who's like a Terran and now other worlds await yeah yeah tidal wave did you know the Ancient One would turn on me? Oh, yeah. Your essence, it called him. And you didn't try to warn me. He was Zerg. You are Zerg. One dies, and one grows strong. You know. I think I'm starting to understand you, Dahaka. I don't understand why Dahaka... <sighs> So then why is he hanging out with us? Shouldn't he be trying to eat us? Or shouldn't he assume that if he can't eat us, we're going to eat him? Seems silly to me. Let's go to the evolution pit. We've got a new conversation and an evolution mission. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh. See only potential. Tell me, what do you do for a living there, Obelder? Look at flesh. Well, that's weird. Joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. Make the Zerg great again. Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving. Can chase, cannot catch. And the money's in the baby face chasing the heel there, Kerrigan. All right, well, let's, let's do an evolution mission here. Hydralisk strain ready for augmentation. Ah, here we go. brood discovered ancient Zerg essence in Dominion space. Brood under attack. Limited time. So, and again, I feel bad, but at the same time, I was only planning to play through this one more time. Uh, with the LP hobby, one of these days I might just drop this hobby. It's not a threat. I'm just thinking. There's so many games I'd like to replay that I won't replay because I'm like, no, I got to do something new for my channel. It's, it's, a, it's a weird compulsion after a while. But I might never play this game again. So I have been, like, I actually did go to some online resources to see who people think are the best strains. I went with Lurkers when I played this before. But apparently Impalers are generally the better choice. Impaler strain more from Hydralisk, while Burrow the Impaler strikes at single targets with a piercing tentacle and is effective against armored enemies. I went with Lurkers because I have nostalgia for them from Brood War. They attack multiple targets at once with its spine and are effective against light enemies. So you have some area of effect with Lurkers. You don't have that with the Impaler. But the thought that I was reading was hey, you fight some pretty heavy armor stuff. And yeah, it's just like you need help. The Zerg aren't great for area of effect damage, but apparently, like, yeah, you, we're going to have more trouble with uh, armored than we are with light armor as far as, like, what's going to be hard for us to kill. So, let's move on. Lurkers would be really good against, like, say, Marines. Whereas Impalers would be good against Siege Tanks and Thors. So large numbers of Marines can really ruin your day. But still, Hydralisks sacrifice toughness for a powerful ranged attack. Protect them with Roaches or Zerglings. I guess they're frail in this game. Planet Merrick 5. Swarm Hive Cluster under assault. Our Hive Cluster is under attack? Is that what you're saying to me? I'm surprised. That kind of thing doesn't usually happen. Oof. Prometheus, the Dominion's 
infestation specialist. Did the disinfestators? We need to move fast. Yeah, they got some heavy armor going. Essence nearby. Overmind creation. Impaler colony. Slow attack. Incredible damage. Collect essence. Adapt hydralisks. Defeat dominion. So impaler colony is not... So what they're basically implying, overmind creation... I think what they're telling us is that these guys were killed by a, uh... It's not... They call it Impaler Colony, but what we really are talking about here is, uh... Oh, see, we don't control these units. These are Ryloth's brood. These are ours. Yeah, what they're talking about really are sunken colonies. Although these are detectors. Oh, interesting. They, uh... You're given a warning before they fire. Examining. Sequence incomplete. Must kill remaining impaler colonies. That's clearly how this mission's going to work. What, do you not understand that? To try to take them on one at a time. Not evade successfully there, I messed that up. Not that great a micro, what can I say? There we are. Sequence acquired. Spinning impaler essence into hydralisk morph. Free of charge this time. Hydralisks now able to morph into impaler. Oh never mind, it's not free. What is free? Because I don't have resources in this mission at all. But yeah, individual zerglings and over uh, overlords are not going to defeat those guys. Or do I get to sneak up behind them? Is that how this is going to work? Yeah, there we go. There's some scary weirdos. Impaler attacks while burrowed. Damages single target. Tears through armor. Move to the high ground and assault their barricade from above. I got a couple of extras. So we've asked me to be detected because you can get killed. Oh, hell no retreat got cut off. Those detectors could be in trouble. That missile turret can detect our impalers while burrowed. Take it out first. Keep it together. Ah, oh, it's in range, but I need uh, ciders. I don't have vision. So I'll wait till the next time when these guys are attacking, I should be able to hit it. Okay. Yeah. See. Yeah, the effectiveness of uh, lurkers is greatly affected by your ability to... And these are hailers, not lurkers, but kind of the same difference. But they're greatly affected by your ability to kill uh, detectors off. Oh, 
it down. This one almost got killed, but not quite. I think we've got the Prometheus Company uh, dead to rights here. No more disvastating for you guys. Forces eliminated. Be cool. Huh? Alternative hydralisk morph possible. Surviving lurker dens discovered. Yeah, lurkers were already pretty similar to sunken colonies, but. Planet Caver oh. once birthing colony for Dagoth's brood. You remember him from the first game? No. Yeah, he's one of the servers with the name. I don't remember which one's which. of interswarm conflict I can control them but I can't morph more key transformation sequence missing requires lurker den. I feel bad I want that hydras nearby den I mean um, essence to swarm I like the idea of having lurkers because I've got nostalgia for them but the impalers are practically the same thing I could just choose the unit I want and not let someone else decide what I want for me but at the same time they look exactly the same, just different coloration. So why would I even... I mean... They're pretty much the same thing. The feral zerg have sensed us. Burrow, quickly! Lurker attacks many foes while burrowed. Effective against light enemies. But yeah. So, as with so many other of these specialties, um... The same thing back in um, when you were spending money to buy upgrades for Terran units. They always showed them fighting Zergling to make them look super cool because Zergling are weak against everything. So Lurkers, More feral Zerg. Burrow quickly and they look impressive against Zergling because of course they do. And of course, there's no detectors here, which is why nothing is killing us. Destination reached. Broodmother Kilisa inbound to extract essence. Overlords en route. Okay. I sense the feral zerg moving. They're attacking from the south. Defend the Lurker Den. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I thought I could cut them off. Wow, it's not often you fail those. Destination reached. Broodmother Kilisa inbound to it. You don't usually fail those. <laughs> they don't even really have anything set up for it. They're attacking from the south. Defend the lurker den. Because my whole deal was I have somebody here to like pick them off early. Another wave incoming. Keep them off the lurker den. You can stagger them out in slightly different positions. Okay, that's it. Yeah, embarrassing to have failed that, but defeated. Broodmother ready to extract essence. I guess now I know I gotta use impalers because with the hydras or the lurkers are just totally screwed up. Returning to evolution pit. Evolution not complete until this decision is made. Hydralisk morph ready for integration. Await decision. You got the Impaler strain. Can morph into an Impaler, attack single target while it's burrowed, effective against armored units. 
Pale Colony, Essence Evolved millennia ago, first mutated under Overmind's instruction. Ancestor, oh, Ancestor Strain of Sunken Colony, powerful. I do miss Sunken Colonies. Can bond Essence to Hydra's Morph, creating a Paler. Attack single foe, tentacle shreds through armor, flesh, and bone. Or the Lurker. Lurkers evolved prior to Interswarm Conflict. Essence abandoned by Queen of Blades in effort to assimilate new breeds. All Almost lost, now recovered. Oh, so we already gave up on it once, apparently. Lurkers attack while burrowed. Spine strike multiple enemies at once, effective against troops lacking sufficient armor. We'll go with Impalers, because uh, they now I realize, oh, I should be nostalgic for uh, Sunken Colonies. And uh, also the fact that I managed to not even win the a, uh, Lurker mission on the first try. Evolution complete. Impaler is far more useful as uh, for breaking sieges, too, I would think. Because it's hard to get them up close, but, um, yeah, you, you, when you're trying to break a siege, you're trying to get up any place they can't detect you, but you can sneak up close to bunkers or whatnot. So there's that done. So next time we're going to travel to another planet. What planet will we travel to? Tune in to find out. See you then.